House Appropriations Committee Democrats, in a lengthy analysis of so-called sequestration, outline a dire picture of the massive across-the-board spending cuts that most lawmakers now expect to take effect as planned March 1st. $1.2 trillion over 10 years, $85 billion for the rest of this fiscal year, including $46 billion from defense, $39 billion from domestic programs. The analysis is based on White House and Congressional Budget Office estimates that, if correct, could shave one and a half percentage points off growth and erase more than half of the 2.2 million new jobs created last year. But the spending cuts could be replaced by new calculations once a budget is put in place for the rest of this year and next. And Republicans argue Democrats may be crying wolf to scare up political pressure against the cuts. Still, the figures are daunting. Guam, for example, could lose more than $6 million in Title I grants to school districts, the NMI, almost $1.7 million. The Commonwealth stands to lose more than a quarter of a million dollars for IDEA special education grants, Guam, almost three quarters of a million. Early child care assistance by the Democrats' estimate would decline by over $229,000 in Guam, almost $102,000 in the NMI. The analysis is rife with dire scenarios, including furloughs of critical personnel and everything from FAA air traffic control to U.S. Customs and Border Patrol operations. The Transportation Security Administration could reduce its workforce, including seven-day furloughs for screeners, which would lengthen passenger wait times by as much as an hour at the busiest airports. The Coast Guard might have to curtail air and surface operations by nearly a fourth, impacting drug and migrant interdiction fisheries law enforcement and aids to navigation. The president announced he would exempt military personnel, but carrier deployments, flying hours, training and maintenance would all be reduced. Western Pacific operations will be reduced by 35 percent. Non-deployed Western Pacific ships would lose 40 percent of steaming days. By the end of this fiscal year, the report says just one carrier strike group and one amphibious ready group based in Japan will be ready for crisis response. The Navy would also cancel several sub-deployments. More than half of U.S. Marine Corps aviation squadrons may be non-deployable, and the report pointedly states the Marine Corps will not complete rebalancing forces to the Asia-Pacific region. Civilian employees could also face severe cuts. DOD is considering furloughing up to 800,000 civilian workers for up to 22 days, with a bigger hit to veterans who make up much of the civilian workforce. Virtually no federal agency would go untouched, including the Social Security Administration, the the IRS, the Judiciary, the Food Safety and Inspection Service at USDA, and the Food and Drug Administration, as well as FEMA. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.